You got to remember in Google's world, their philosophy for everything is search first. And so Google have that feature where anytime you email someone, it's going to add them to your contacts for you. And then Google just expects that you're basically going to search your contacts and not bother maintaining them individually. Bruce asks, any suggestions for shared contact lists? There are a number of third-party apps that make sense for shared contacts. The original one was just called like, I think Google shared contacts.com. This has been around for like a decade. This is probably the best bet for you to have a look at. I haven't used it or tested it in a very, very long time, but it's seemingly pretty straightforward. There are other tools out there. If you have a chat to a team, they can potentially give you a different recommendation. But personally, this would probably be the best place to start looking. I personally have just pretty much given up on contacts. I don't, I don't bother sharing them with our team because all of our customer information and all of our contacts live inside of copper crm and so copper crm is basically the brain for the business everyone's individual contacts that sit inside their emails which to be honest get pretty darn overwhelming we just kind of leave them inside the contacts and the database or the one common source of truth for our contacts actually sits inside copper crm now because that includes the history of someone and notes on their account and any sales that have happened with that person and any follow-ups that are scheduled with that person it's just much more powerful than the built-in contacts. Google does have the ability to delegate access to your contacts to someone else, meaning that you can share access to your contacts to a PA or someone else that you wanna have help manage your contacts. Personally, I haven't used that feature, but that feature does exist there. I don't think Google are really nailing contacts. Maybe one day they'll put some more engineering time into it, but you gotta remember in Google's world, their philosophy for everything is search first. And so Google have that feature where anytime you email someone, it's gonna add them to your contacts for you. And then Google just expects that you're basically gonna search your contacts and not bother maintaining them individually. And so effectively what Google is saying is, hey, you're just gonna collect contacts over time, you just go and search for them when you need them. And that's really how Google approach things. So I don't expect they're gonna create a sophisticated contact database inside there because I think contacts are always just gonna be a bit of an afterthought and they just want you to search inside Gmail or search inside your contacts to find what you wanna find. But I hope that was helpful. If you like this content, please hit subscribe and hit the bell notification so you can be notified when we go live or drop new content on the channel. If you'd like to connect with us, hit us up on social media or join our free community group. All the links to that are right below this video. If you'd like to learn more about Google Workspace and the technology ecosystem, you can join our free Genius Academy by transferring your billing across to IT Genius. Or you can join a Workspace Basics Bootcamp. Now, if you're a business owner and you're interested in an audit on your technology stack or your Workspace account, or you're looking to do a project in the tech world, well, you can take advantage of our free consultation. And if you need help right now, then consider joining Concierge or taking up a quick fix with our team for professional support for your tech stack.